Hello. With the addition of all sorts of VSTs and easy drummers and superior drummers and all the stuff that you can download onto your DAW, um, especially with the boom of all these different amp sims that are out today, um, one of the things that uh, is kind of an impact or a lot of different uh, feedback that I get is around um, issues with space storage and performance of black cups. Um, if you're like me, uh, you like the you know, testing out different type and trying different types of, of amp sims. Um, I've downloaded all sorts of different amp sims. Some are easier on your CPU than others, but one of the issues that we have is space and CPU um, ability to, to run programs without cutting out and getting that kind of choppy uh, playback that you'll get. Uh, that you get. I have uh, Studio One. Uh, Pro that I use and it has a feature in here to help minimize latency. I can kind of uh, set a uh, click a settings that will help me uh, so that I won't have that kind of choppy when I'm using two or additional um, VSTs at the same time. I've also increased the RAM on my laptop. Um, I've also, uh, this is like my third laptop that I've had to use and I also use an external a uh, hard drive with about five terabytes that I can put stuff over there. But um, your CPU is your CPU and there's not a lot that you can really do about that other than upgrading to something that has a little bit uh, better or faster CPU, the ability to process uh, more information. Um, so one of the issues that you will have is if you're running multiple tracks at the same time, your CPU can only do so much. So what I did a while, a couple years ago, I did a video on drums in a way that you could save space on your system. And today I thought I would do a, a quick video to see if, it, if I can help anybody with a, a way that you can save space on your, uh, your computer uh, by playing with the tracks. And I'll show you how to do that uh, in a way that you can put more tracks, uh, as many tracks as you want, and not have to worry about latency issues or with your CPU cutting out. So we'll go ahead and get in the system today, check it out, and uh, we'll walk through it and I'll show you how to, how to save space so that you're, you're not getting those choppy uh, interruptions and it's not making that funny sound when it starts cutting out on you. Um, so we'll, we'll get in there and I'll show you in the, um, in the tool. It's, I use 301, but again, you can use any kind of, uh, any kind of uh, processing software that you use, I'm sure has this type of feature. So we'll, we'll get in there and show you today. Uh, all right, let's check it out. Uh, thanks before I get in, thanks for subscribing. I always appreciate you guys doing that. Uh, and I appreciate all the comments you're leaving below. Uh, always appreciate the discussion. So thank you very much, I do appreciate it. All right, let's check it out. As we were kind of diving into the problem or the, the issue um, of, uh, sorry, it's hot in here, it's Texas heat and it's brutal out right now. Apologize, I've got the air blasting, but oh. um, as we were talking a second ago, you know, the, the key here is being able to have multiple tracks within your DAW to be able to process as many songs, uh, you know, your songs so you can have different guitar tracks, you can have drums. This is a song that I'm doing right now um, in the system or in, in, uh, in uh, Studio One here. And what I have is to kind of show the demonstration. Uh, this track and this track here are uh, created with an amp sim. This is done with THU Overloud, and this is done uh, with the um, uh, the Rev um, RVXX uh, software uh, amp sim that came out. And I've got a pedal board uh, added on there for a little delay, and then a chorus that I'm using to double the track. Um, and so, as I mentioned before, I've got it set up where I can click on this right here and set it to maximum. And what that's gonna do is help process all these different tracks and, and save it so that it doesn't start cutting out. If I set it on minimum and I start playing it, uh, what you're gonna hear is it's probably gonna turn up a little bit. Okay, so you can hear how it's clearly uh, it's pushing too much right now. I've got too many tracks. It's pushing my CPU. You can see down here in the very left corner here, the performance indicator is peaking. Uh, it, well, it's pushing pretty hard, meaning that it, it is uh, using a lot of CPU and it's using so much that it's actually cutting out. 
Uh, and so what I have this feature here is that I can click this and set it to maximum. And hopefully you have something like that in yours too. But if you don't, there is a way around it. And the way I do that is by rendering the track so that it's basically when you're like when you're done with your your recording and you render the the program so that it it, it then puts it into a uh, whatever kind of wave or mp3 file what it's doing is you can do that prior to actually finishing your song so what it's going to do is actually um make that track that you know your your song here smaller it's going to render those individual tracks that you want to use so that you can save space so for example here if i go up to this track right here uh let's say this one here uh this is the rev track I, I highlight the track and then i can go in here and click mix down selection if i click the mix down selection what it's going to do is you can see it's processing it now and it's going to basically mix the selection down like you would at the end of a song when you're ready to to process and put into an mp3 format so i'm rendering it down right now and what happens is once that's finished it now puts that song into a mix down so I basically have the original and then I have this one here. So if I play it, see, it's now just this one here. So if I hit. So basically I mix the track down and now I can take this one here and I can turn off the different uh, components to it right here. So I can just get rid of this. What I do is I go up here and I hide this track so that it's not in in my workspace but now i'm working with the mix down you can go down here and you can go i do mix rev and so that i know that it's mixed down so basically the space is now saved where before that was being used by the rev i can now do that with i have that that space available and so let's show you another one here uh let's see that was pv this was that uh, let's do this one here, which is my THU. Um, let me go ahead and take this track here. I grab the track. I come down here. I mix down selection. And you can see it's processing it. And it's going to take it and it's going to mix it down for me. And it doesn't change anything because when you're done, at the end, you're going to mix it down anyway. What this is doing is putting it aside, mixing it down um, kind of ahead of the process. So now what I've done is I've mixed down those selections. So if I now hit play, notice it's not cutting out. So I've been able to, oh my God, I need to turn all these. And it's, And it's still in the minimum setting so <clears throat> excuse me what i can do now is i can go in and add additional tracks and i can continue to build and if i need to use a sim or if i'm using my superior drummer i can mix those tracks down so that it's saving space on my cpu so that it's not doing that 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 noise and it's not making any you know cutting out and scratching and stuff like that so it's just a quick way of rendering your mix or mixing it down uh, kind of putting them aside for later when you're going to end up doing that with your track anyway when you're ready to burn it basically uh, it's just doing that ahead of time so that you can then go back in and continue to add tracks um, if you're mixing like when i record off my cab if i'm running uh one of my my heads and i'm running through a cab and i'm recording it through my sim 57 or whatever it doesn't take as much cpu as it does with a simulation the simulations like some of the neural stuff uh when you start looking at um, um doing stereo or you're doing some of the more um heavier kind of processing um it will definitely take up more of your cpu so by uh, rendering the track you can then kind of save space go back and then um, be able to record as many tracks as you want and you don't have to worry about cutting it out so just a quick and easy way to be able to go in if you're having issues with your mix and if things are if your tracks are starting to cut out or if it's starting to scratch on you or make those funny noises 
Um, it's just a simple way that you can render. Go into your, again, this is Studio One, but if whatever your, um, your, uh, your software, your DAW software is, um, your music recording software, whether you're using Pro Tools, you're using Reaper or what have you, uh, should have a tool that's a mix down or um, you know, a feature, uh, like a render feature that you can do that will help do that. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, it's definitely helped me out as I start um, recording more and more tracks and sometimes I'll create additional tracks and then see which I like best and then kind of sample and then and get rid of the ones I don't want. It taxes my system more and more. So by doing that, I'm able to add as many tracks as I want without it zapping too much of my CPU. Um, so anyway, hope that's hopeful. Uh, if you have any questions or any other tips that you have uh, that, uh, that you'd like to share, I'd love to hear them. Um, and that's about it. Thanks again uh, for subscribing and um, for joining us today. So more videos to come. Appreciate you joining us today. Thanks.